All right, guys, so we're back. A lot of you are asking me if the 2026 model cars and trucks and big trucks will have a def system, a uh, particular filter, or anything on them. You know, if you don't know, the EPA has now said there will not be any. We're going to delete all the emission standards since 2009 uh, and later. Now, a few things have changed. Got a little print out here, tells us what's going on. Um, right out of the gate, this says, yes, 2006 model year diesel vehicles will still require diesel exhaust fluid, DEF fluid to meet federal emission standards. The use of DEF as selective catalytic reduction SCR system is a long-standing requirement for most diesel engines, mandated by the EPA since 2010 to reduce harmful nitrogen NOx emissions. All right. While DEF is still required for 2026 models, the recent EPA guidance has changed how these systems will function when DEF levels are low. That means you're gonna have more time to drive with the DEF system. However, this is as of today. That does not mean that this goes upside down tomorrow and things are completely changed and throw away almost everything. We don't know that. There's a lot of videos circulating with a truck on a rollback, a diesel truck, and you can see under it, and there is, it's basically just straight piped all the way through to the muffler. That truck is also light tan color. We do know that the government right now does not use DEF or any kind of diesel emissions. In my opinion, that probably was more of a government truck that doesn't have that, but that's just my opinion. A lot of speculation right now exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, there not, has not been a completely official guaranteed answer from the EPA. This is just, as things are today, how it will be. Um, it does mean no more, if a sensor fails, it will not shut your car down. You will not give you no restarts. They're not being clear how much, how many restarts you do have before you have to get it fixed. But there you go. Um, so also relax penalties and guidance issued in 2025, uh, drivers more time to gives drivers more time to refill the DEF tank before experiencing severe, severe reduction in engine power. Here's the thing though. This is what gets me about it. There was no reduction in engine power. If you don't fill your DEF, you cannot drive it. You get 14 more starts if you're lucky, or maybe it's two, depends on what the computer wants to give you. And you can't start it. Like it'll run until you shut it off and it just won't start. Um, that's my experience. Now, maybe a semi truck is different. A big truck's different. Maybe a tractor is different. I don't really know. I don't have not driven either one of those things, but a passenger car or truck will give you so many times to start it and then it just won't start. Crank, no start. Nothing you're going to be able to do is going to be able to get it started, unfortunately, except a tow truck, right? Um, so basically they're relaxing the, the standards of the DEF. Um, a lot of truckers and a lot of farmers complaining about this. Uh, and this also does not specify passenger cars or light trucks, which is up to a 3,500, you know, this rugged highway truck, like pickup truck, um, or like F-350, anything larger than that. So this may or may not change any passenger car stuff at all. We don't really know. Uh, voluntary guidance, the 2026 year model model year has voluntary guidance for manufacturers to adjust the software. Manufacturers 2027 and newer must adopt the new software, more lenient uh, inducement strategies. There is also nothing come out on the federal prosecution of anybody that tries to delete their diesel emissions. We need to see some movement on that too, in my personal opinion. Um, Long grace periods, instead of rapid and severe reduction in speed, 2026 trucks, and this must be for semis only, because uh, nothing reduces your speed. Uh, may now have much longer grace period and higher operating speeds of four power. And this is like a Chevy or maybe Chevy or Ford diesel, small engines have something different. My experience, I've not seen that with the German stuff. It just shuts you down. It doesn't shut you down. It seems to shut your key off. You may not be able to restart it if something's failed in the system. Um, so let me see here. 
Um, yeah, it's all about power loss, about reduced power, reduced power. If any of you guys on here drive semis or tractors, is that what you're getting when you have a def problem or you're out of def fluid? Are you getting reduced power or what exactly is happening? Or are you getting the, you just can't restart it? Why we have def systems on tractors? That's a real damn good question to start with. That's not on road equipment. A tractor should be able to run red diesel in it. Cannot run red diesel as far as I know. With a depth system, maybe you can. I'm not a tractor specialist. I specialize in many, many things. Tractors is not one of them. And semis is not one of them, that's for damn sure. So, like I said, let me know what you think in the comments below. And what do you think, I already know the answer. What do you think the penalty should be if you get caught deleting the uh, depth system? Diesel delete. Um, also, you know, what do you think about the deaf fluid itself? A lot of guys out here like, it's not toxic. A quick Google search says it's not by itself. You mix that, you mix burning that with diesel, it is toxic. And it is killing a lot of the plants on the side of the road. I saw a study in the UK it says killing almost all of the grass on the side of the road, any trees or anything, the burnt urea coming off those vehicles. Uh, are we actually doing any good? Or are we just chasing money games again? In my opinion, it's just a money game. It's always been a money game and it still is today. Hopefully, hopefully with new management and EPA, they will get this sorted out. There are so many diesel vehicles, not only in the US, but all over the world that are currently suffering with this. As I've seen other mechanics say, diesel's enough of a struggle to keep going, enough of a money pit, and you mix that with add blue death fluid, and it's a explosive recipe that will drain your bank account and be a total nuisance, a total nightmare. Why do they still make diesel cars? My girlfriend asked me the same thing. Why do they even make those? Who wants to drive that? Those came in big when diesel used to be cheaper than gas. You get a little more mileage than a gas car out of a diesel, possibly. So I'm not, it's debatable. But now you have to pay, what is diesel here now? Three fifteen a gallon? That gas of the day for two fifty one? dollars You're looking 65 cents ish, 70 cents, up to 70 cents more a gallon for diesel. What's the fuel mileage? What's the fuel mileage gain you'd have to get to, to offset that cost? A lot. Is it going to get that much better? No. The bottom line is a diesel passenger car at this point in time, and mostly a diesel truck, because we have gas engines that have mass amounts of horsepower, is almost a novelty at this point. But some guys like the diesel life, and they only want to drive that stuff, and their pockets... Their pocketbooks are getting damaged severely by this blue def, def fluid, whatever you want to call it, ab blue, by that whole system. And it's just really a, a complete con job in every aspect of the way for those guys that want to run those vehicles. And for the, for the tractors and the semi trucks, that's like hurting everything. That's hurting the price of your food, the price of every single thing that's shipped, which is you look in this shop. Everything's been shipped. Every little piece, every little wrench, every little everything has been transported on a diesel truck. When it costs more to run those trucks, costs more for the diesel, for low sulfur diesel, costs more for to fix your uh, death fluid system constantly. It makes the price of every single thing go up from the carpet and tile in your house to the drywall in your house to every piece of wood to every piece of electrical wire to every piece of plumbing, all that stuff goes way up because the screwed up laws on diesel semis. Just the way it is. Let me know what you guys think on this. We'll keep touching back as the info comes out. Uh, hopefully something changes with this. See you guys later.